Hello guys, today we are going to talk about how you can use Pareto chart in an Excel file. Pareto chart is basically a study which is used in Lean Six Sigma to understand the problem. In the research, it is observed that 80% of the problems are caused by 20% of the causes. So if you resolve your 20% causes, then you can resolve 80% of your problem. I have collected the data for one of the courier company and understand what kind of complaints they were receiving in the different categories and how we can use Pareto chart to understand these complaints. My name is Kapil. I will be your Excel tutor. I have 11 years of experience working as data analyst and I worked on various different Excel and Power BI projects. To learn more, I request you to please subscribe my YouTube channel so that I can share my experience with you on this channel. So let's start to understand this study. So you can see that I have listed all the complaint types and how many complaints I was receiving under these categories. So what I need to do, my first step is to sort this data in the descending order. Okay, it should be starting from largest and ending at lowest okay so if your data is not in that manner so you need to format that so you need to sort this sort largest to smallest once you do this you can see that it is starting from the highest number and ending at the lowest number now we need to add two columns and then i need to calculate cumulative frequency then cumulative frequency percentage okay so how do you calculate cumulative frequency you just select the first cell and then in the second cell you keep adding the previous value so that is how this was gonna work okay 366 plus 262 then control d and now you can see it is adding each value with the previous value okay so that is how you can calculate cumulative frequency at the end you will get the total of this entire column so you can validate 1046 and 1046 this should be equal it means that you have calculated the cumulative frequency correctly now we'll be going to calculate cumulative frequency percentage so this number divided by 1046 the total number and then you can see this number you need to format this in the percentage now you can see 35 percentage and because our b12 this is fixed so we need to fix this cell and then control d once you do that you can see at the end it is showing 100 percent okay now in order to create the pareto chart what do you need to do just click on any of these cell click insert go to this chart and in the 2d column or 3d column whichever suits you just select the clustered column chart okay so i'm just using the 2d chart and i'm putting it on the right side and i'm selecting the chart okay what you need to do you need to click on this select data once you click on this we don't need cumulative frequency so just untick this and now complaints and ca percent will be remaining on this window and then click okay before I click on this OK button, I just want to tell you that this left section denotes the Y axis and this right section denotes the X axis. OK, I click OK. Now just select the chart again and now go to the change chart type. Once you click on this, OK, so go to the combo at the left side at the end, you can see combo. Now you can see the series, okay, the complaints and see a percent. So we have two Y axis, okay. So one I'm putting on the clustered column and second I will be putting on the line chart. So you can use this line chart, stack line with markups, okay. And on the secondary axis, so because my complaint and see a percentage are on the same axis and I was not able to see my see a percentage, I'm just putting it on the secondary axis. Okay, then click OK. Once you click on this, you can see the Pareto chart is created. Now, how you can study this? So let me just make it big. Okay, so you can see my 80% of the problem. So if I click on this point, so let me add data label here. So you can just go there, add chart element, data label and then at the left side right side above you can just put it 
so you can see 78 percent it is very near to 80 percent so if i work on these three problems only like delay in delivery delivery on work address high delivery fees i can resolve my 80 percent of the problem if i work on these three causes okay so that is how predator chart is gonna work if you want to format this Pareto chart, you can just put Pareto chart in the chart title. So if you want to show all the data labels, so what you need to do, you need to select the 70% okay, and delete this. Then select these dots again and then go back, add chart element and then click data labels and then above. So you can see all the percentage are showing. Okay, 35% of the problems are caused by the delay in delivery. Okay, so in this entire data, delay in delivery is causing most of the problem. And these three problems are causing 80% of the problem. So that is how you can format this Pareto chart. If you want to use different colors, you can just use these window. Or if you want to use change colors, you can use this as well to make your chart a little classy. Okay. So if you like this video, please do share, please do comment and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.